What's up, folks? What's up, folks? It's BG Aloysius. Sweet Side Sports and McDonald's, the sweetest sports channel of them all. How y'all doing today, man? Gonna do a little short video. Um, Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder, the made himself the clown. The clown of the year. Deontay Wilder, matter of fact, he has made himself the clown of this year and next year. He's probably going to be the biggest clown in boxing history. Deontay Wilder thought that him coming out and saying those things was going to do something, was going to save his career. But what it, what it, what it really actually did, it wrecked him. It wrecked his, 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 his image. Everybody's talking shit. Everybody's saying he sound like a pussy. Everybody's saying he sound like a bitch. Everybody's saying, man, he sound like a fucking coward, man. Everybody's saying it. Like MMA people, boxers, everybody's saying it. But this dog gonna do, he, I don't get it. This dude gets on fucking camera, start trying to motherfucker have, trying to motherfucker have a poetic moment and shit, trying to speak Bible scriptures, and, and just making up shit. Dude, you, you, the statutes of limitation have ran out. Dude, so now you didn't do the rematch in a timely fashion. And now you want to come out of here. Now you want to come out and talk shit. Come on, man. That's some bitch ass shit, man. For real. Some bitch ass shit. Everybody's talking shit about him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is, man. And it makes absolutely no motherfucking sense for him to come out to say shit. All he needed to do was get out there. What he should have did is fucking get that third match on the road, fight in December. Hopefully he knock his ass out to get his belt back. But no. They want to fight in February, which is past the damn limitations of when the shit supposed to be signed. So, now, all these excuses coming in. Now he want to make a fucking poem. Wilder wasn't saying shit about none of The only thing Wilder was talking about those months ago was his fucking suit. He wasn't talking about Tyson Fury had any glove gate shit. He didn't make that shit up. Everybody else made up glove gate. Everybody else made up Glove Gate. His brother, I think, made that up, so he gonna roll with it. You know what I'm saying? This dude, he's a sore loser. He he can't he can't he he, he wants to win all the time, but he can't handle the lose. He can't handle a loss. I don't blame him because he got his ass whooped. He got his ass whooped point blank period and he's still trying to make excuses of why he got beat dude you got beat by a fucking skilled ass boxer i ain't no fury fan but fury beat the fucking living daylights out your ass man he beat the damn daylight he molly whopped his ass man he molly whopped his ass tyson fury beat deontay Wilder ass so damn bad that that motherfucker went home to fucking twerk this motherfucker went home to fucking twerk. He went home to twerk. That's how bad he got his ass beat. All right? But Deontay White has made himself the clown of fucking sports entertainment. He has made himself the clown of sports, period. <laughs> By coming out with that music field, uh, uh, quote unquote, sermon he's trying to put off and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the bullshit, but he's a clown ass motherfucker. He deserve, uh, I hope Charlemagne give him a donkey of the day. I hope these tech call him an idiot, cause that motherfucker's all of it. He's all of it. He's the donkey of the day. He's the idiot of a lifetime. He's the dumbass of the damn day. Dumbass Deontay Wilder. Fucking up his own shit. We've been telling your ass, Deontay Wilder, to get a better PR team, motherfucker. They need to tell you to shut the fuck up. You're talking at the wrong time. You're talking too late, and you're looking silly. On top of that, motherfucker, you admitted you ducked Anthony Joshua. You admitted it in your whole shit, trying to get back at Tyson Fury, trying to say he cheated your punk ass. Dude, come on, man. Who you think? Everybody's, I mean, you couldn't even knock out motherfucking Charlie Zillin off. A 5'8", probably 160 pound dude. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't even knock him out. You, can, you ain't even hit him clean. 
shit. I don't even know why I brought that up. I just wanted to bring that up. Cause it was on my mind. But anyway, I'm about to end this shit. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all check me out on my social medias. Y'all check me out on Band Lab. Y'all check out my store gift, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment, share. You know what I'm saying? And one more thing. Y'all keep banging. Peace.